and uh, I believe Jeffrey Epstein. So, huh? Good stuff, Josh. Hand jobs for all. Oh, hi guys. This is episode eight. You made it this far. We barely, we barely made it this far. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, not for lack of trying. All right, let's do this. Like Microsoft's a bunch of click content. subscribe there. We, yeah. So this is uh, our happy Thanksgiving episode. Yeah. Yeah. Happy We're Turkey Day, everybody here. in America. You can tell it's happy by Josh's smile. And if you're from another country that doesn't have Thanksgiving, we don't know what it really means anyway. So just pretend like we do nothing but eat turkey and watch sports. So or we're starting with, with uh, what's wrong with peanuts? Yeah. So uh, everybody, uh, hopefully you guys grew up with too, at least uh, the, the peanuts uh, Thanksgiving episode. Going to air on PBS this year after uh, yeah, Apple yeah. didn't let the Halloween one, uh, Great Pumpkin, air. But PBS what? is uh, doing Thanksgiving now. So, yeah. Yeah. Which is great. PBS. And I, first, before you see any of this, I love the Peanuts. My favorite book as a kid, I had three or four of them that I just kept like on a shelf. They were my favorite books. Charles Schultz changed my life. Fantastic. This episode, this uh, holiday special is the worst thing ever put on TV for me, it's up there with uh, Star Wars Holiday Special. It's it just the Charlie worst. Brown's first kiss or something like that. First no, kiss Charlie Brown. no, I think they did that with a little redheaded girl. Ah! But yes, this they is did. Just, this is just garbage. It's you know, the animation. Like the, if you took out all the the recycled animation, like they just they they literally cut blocks out and put it back together like a bad porn. If you cut all that out, it's probably a five minute episode. Of that five minutes, three of it's Snoopy doing shit all by himself. They're wood stuck, and the rest is like, right. here's the story. It's just, it's bad. So the first thing you need to realize is this: the the controversial episode where Franklin sits alone across the table from all the white kids. So the story is Charles Schultz wanted uh, there to be a black kid in there, but they didn't give him any speaking lines. I went through the whole episode. Franklin doesn't say where there is a voice actor credited with him, and he did a movie with LeVar Burton. But the only thing I think he does is at the end, they all sing. So what I did in this first clip is I slowed down stuff. And whenever I could show, throw some speaking parts in for Franklin, I did. Only, um, let's see if you can guess the celebrity I used for Franklin to speak. No, I know. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Sponsored by... When you need a little lift, but you just can't take a break, uh, two Wrigley Spearmint I gum. The, the cool, refreshing feeling oh, okay. of Wrigley Spearmint gum puts a little lift in everything you do. That good, smooth chewing, that crisp, clean taste. That Wrigley Spearmint pick up. I am the gun, the sun, the fucking savior. I am the sun, the one, the to drink. I'm the fucker, the mama, the great to be. I'm the mother, boss, and I'm <laughs> right, back to the Hello? Hey, guess you just walked in over here. It is so good to see you, Pooja Tang. It's Franklin. I told him about the big turkey party you're having. And be Pudite? sure his folks let him come. Nice. See ya. Crack ass, cracker. I'm losing control of the whole world. Now what's wrong? Now she's bringing Franklin. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Peppermint Patty. Hi, Franklin. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Chuck. The fuck is going on? Broke ass white people. Before we're served, shouldn't we say grace? Are you out your mind? Sit your rich white ass down. Boy, I haven't had.
had that much fun since I hung out with the OJs. So it's I, it's improved, I think, by letting Chris Rock voice Franklin. Um, and what isn't improved by having Chris Rock in it? I think we've got another cartoon, actually. Let's see here. Prop to this editor. Is that a hard on? Wait, yeah, I was gonna say, hold on, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Good morning, John. Sorry to disturb you. Do the mashed potato, do the candy yam, do the funky turkey, cause it's time to jam. If you don't wanna dance, baby, that's all right. So now stop stopping. We work up in every side. Take a thing, give it one more beat. Cause the more you eat, totally the more stomach. Guess it's time for our early mid morning nap. <laughs> Check that. It's time to the dog. It's probably totally gonna be worth it. Well, stomach. Guess it's time for our early mid-morning nap. <laughs> Check that. It's time to <laughs> the dog. <laughs> On the face of the earth. It's a tradition. And you know how I love tradition. Oh, John. Nice calendar. Thanksgiving. Food. Eat. Tradition. Yes, I know. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Which reminds me, we had better go to the grocery store to get lots of good things to eat. Come with you. That goes on <clears throat> for another 20 seconds. Brutal. I think we're probably good there. Now, ladies, remember, grapefruit is also a fat burner, so you're actually losing weight while you're sucking his dick. So uh, uh, here's some annoying trivia guy stuff. The guy who did the voice of Garfield also did the voice of Peter Venkman Peter in Venkman. the real Ghostbusters cartoon. Yep. But Bill Murray then went on to do the voice of Garfield in the movie. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, quality, quality uh, cartoon there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was beautiful. So, did Jim Davis approve that edit? No, that was the original script. He did try to go yeah, Michael Richards, but uh, <laughs> here's another spot the celebrity. Um, it's not really Thanksgiving, but it is stuffing. So, okay, eighty acting credits. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Beverly Hills Ninja and Jack and Jill. Yeah, I don't know if I've seen Jack and Jill. Beverly Hills Ninja, unfortunately, I have seen. It's all SNL characters, right? So both of our think. SNL. I, I will tell you right now the SNL thing, and he has done another sampler that I know of, mm. uh, uh, is a red herring, uh, unintentional. Um, the best clue on here is some think he originated the character of Suit Larry. I don't know that this fits it, but is it Neelan? No, it's definitely not Saturday Night Live. No. I was going to say, Neil and uh, Leisure Suit Larry's before Neil and, right? I, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think yeah, that yeah. it would fit that, but. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do it. Announcing new stovetop stuffing mix for pork. Maureen, we having pork chops tonight? Right, honey. I got a great idea. Instead of potatoes. What, right, honey? Stovetop stuffing. Isn't stovetop for chicken? There's a brand new one, specially seasoned to go with pork. Sounds really tasty. Is that a fact? This stuffing is absolutely perfect with pork. Is that a fact? That's a fact. New stove top stuffing mix for pork instead of potatoes. Yeah. This is it's Barbara. Larry, Barbara yeah, I was, was going to say, I recognize the face, but I couldn't I too much talk about up. pork. This will make you feel better. I feel better already. <laughs> Do we have so, to cancel him? Now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I could see the leisure suit say, Larry thing with him. I kind of like him. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's it's totally never been confirmed by the guy who created Leisure Suit Larry, but absolutely, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, creepy. Yeah. 
So uh, we Damn, got Peanuts Part Disney 2 money. up next. Peanuts Part 2? So uh, this is the other bad part of the episode. Marcy's a, a fucking cunt. Or, or no, not Yo. Marcy, Peppermint Patty. Marcy's a sweetheart. I love yeah. Peppermint Patty. She invites herself over to Charlie Brown's. Like, hey, here we're having a thing. We're coming over. I'm bringing people with me. She shows up. Snoopy does his best, by the way, to, to cook up a good dinner, which is admittedly it's uh, toast and popcorn and pretzel sticks. But like I said, it, she's not happy. So I, I kind of just call it out. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Patty is the original Karen. <laughs> What's this? A piece of toast? A pretzel stick? Popcorn? What blockhead cooked all this? What kind of a Thanksgiving dinner Aww. is this? Where's the turkey, right. Chuck? Don't you know anything about Aww. Thanksgiving dinners? Where's the mashed potatoes? Where's the cranberry sauce? Where's the pumpkin pie? You are kind I'm of left to guy you down, weren't you, As sir? He should. Well, look at this. Is this what you call a Thanksgiving Day dinner? <laughs> Did we come across town for this? We're supposed to be served a real Thanksgiving dinner. Fuck! <laughs> Isn't she just the worst? The, that is the meanest thing you could possibly do. What if they could only afford bread and popcorn? But, I mean... And they're kids, right? They can't throw right. a turkey in the oven. Right. <laughs> And she was that's day of she she showed up like hours later yeah, and, and by the way if we recall from the last video brought people over unannounced yeah. just was yeah. like hey ps well she like she did announce franklin uh, like 12 seconds ahead of time yeah i mean even charlie brown was like yo this dipshit over here just brought some people over just like hey yeah. uh, i got i got a plus one and a plus one but so I yeah no that, fuck her. that was the post credit scene in that uh, episode was she called mm -hmm. the cops on dinner even though she brought the black guy I quit. It was really I quit sad. the podcast. <laughs> I quit. What we got up next is Grace. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, looking up uh, banned uh, Thanksgiving ads, um, they. Uh, <laughs> That's a thing? Yeah. They're actually, there's, I think a, we have like a hidden episode where I kind of showed like some offensive ones, uh, but I wanted to go outright banned. And a um, couple uh, names out there that you, you'll recognize. Um, uh, put out that uh, put out a commercial uh, not too long ago, a couple years ago. I just want to show it to you guys because uh, it's it's there's a few things that stick out to me that I thought you'd enjoy. Yeah. 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 Sure. Dear God, thank you for the turkey we're about to eat, and for the turkey farms where they pack them into dark, Canadian tiny little video? sheds for their whole lives. Thank you for when they burn only their wish. off while they're still alive. And for when turkey gets kicked around like a football and killed by people who think it's fun to stomp on their little turkey heads. And special thanks for all the chemicals and dirt and poop that's in the turkey we're about to eat. Oh, and thank you for rainbows. Amen. <laughs> I'm telling you, none of these problems started until that fucking Windows update this past week. Anyway, the, the point of the, the last video was, um, if you noticed that when the little girl was talking, they ADR'd a lot of it, meaning when they were going through the original script, it mm -hmm. wasn't mean enough. So they said, wait, this isn't mean enough. Let's do voiceover work and ADR her saying more, even meaner shit. So... Anyway, Did she mention the poop cool. in the turkey? Let's make sure she mentions that poop in the turkey. Yeah, yeah, it was. Listen to it again sometime. I mean, it's it's really fucked up. Like you, you're like, oh wow, that's really <clears throat> messed up. But then as you listen to it, it's a there's a clear edit. Like our shit, it's our editing solid. It's the best you'll ever see. Yeah, we, but we there's a so piss poor. It goes from that audio where it's like you can clearly hear that it's like the ambient noise, 
and to condense the microphone all of a sudden she's like and poop in the turkey and poop in the turkey and you're just like i think Peter is the greatest so that one. we should edit it is chris rock doing anything right now so part three is uh my uh final fuck you to horrible holiday special uh by such a fantastic uh series of characters the ending of this is just it's fucking wrong um it's not happy it's not good uh and also there's just some serious horror that nobody ever really notices but let's play it i point it all out in the video all right here we go a charlie brown thanksgiving <laughs> soundtrack right now yeah it's great music yeah what i loved it oh hi snoopy come on in dresses up for the event like he's into this snoopy how yeah, can you the serve the food in that ridiculous outfit yeah, yeah. How what about a motherfucker <laughs> Come on, Snoopy. We don't right, have any time for this fault. playing around. The gifts will be here pretty soon, so please get ready to help serve them. <gasps> Did you see Charlie Brown? That's We're all invited to Charlie Brown's grandmother's for Thanksgiving dinner. But, but hey, they're all invited to the grandmothers. you snoopy wow but that's okay the whole time snoopy has a turkey <laughs> you think he's just gonna serve turkey you don't need to show woodstock eating another bird do you now he eats the other fucking bird what a good boy. Or girl. Yeah, I don't think we you know what Woodstock is. Doesn't matter. They enjoy Just so. Matter. <laughs> they. And it goes on. This is not. That's the uh, artist who recorded the uh, sound. I got his permission. It's legal. It's legit. That's Boys. awesome. That is well awesome. If my dog made me a Thanksgiving meal, I don't care if it's popcorn or licorice, that motherfucker's gonna high five and a beer. And if I get to go to grandma's to have some real fucking food, I'm bringing it. I, are we also gonna acknowledge too that the vehicle that they jumped into was like an entire like theater room seating? Like uh, it had like not even just seats, but like seats on the side. You know, they can kick back. I mean, I want a vehicle like that too as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. We all do. Yeah. <laughs> It's Fred Rogers. You're a girl oh, dog. No. That's do why I wanted to watch it again. Have to watch this again. Like Jennifer? I do. Yes. That may be your master. Mm. It is a little no feeling, what that means, feeling like isn't it? it? What do this you think of part. when you see this? This girl's gonna get a Google alert a as soon as dog. this is posted. You know that, right? <laughs> That's a man dog. Night fever. Vaginal. Jennifer has teeth too. Just like Bob Dog. I just wondered if it would be a good time to come. To... Oh, that's beautiful. How about this one? Bye, Jennifer. Bye, Jennifer. This next one is a grocery store ad where, uh,. <clears throat> Some odd things get pointed out. Uh, should be pretty obvious. Here we go. 
It's a great supermarket. It's a super supermarket. This week at Food Town, delicious Sacramento tomato juice, only 69 Ew. cents. One pound fresh Land O'Lakes <laughs> butter in quarters, only at four seventy nine with coupon and seven fifty per <laughs> And that looking lean three pound uncanned ham just seven <laughs> for the Thanksgiving holidays. Shop food <laughs> first for quality, freshness, and savings. Shop your friendly food town. You know, I really hate how subliminal advertising is just you don't know it's there until it's pointed out and you've already you've already been brainwashed. Just everything there you want to throw in your mouth. It's crazy. Jenny has a series of ads out, so just want to show this one really quick. Thought this was interesting. Okay. Another white people picking up shit issue. One hour later. Nobody likes you. Horrible Hannah <laughs> said to her husband, I'm not saying what I'm getting you for Christmas, but I'll give you one hint. It's wrapped in blank paper. <laughs> Horrible Hannah said to her husband, I'm not saying what I'm getting you for Christmas, but I'll give you one hint. It's wrapped in blank paper. Now, I need an answer for you. You could go outrageous. You can go and try to guess what the celebrities are going to guess. Uh, since you're on the left, Josh, let's start with you. Uh, wrapped in used shit paper. Used shit paper. Good answer. Zaz, what do you have? I'm not going to say that was my answer. Uh, wrapped in... Rolling paper. Uh, rolling paper? I hate okay. you, Josh. I hate you, Josh. Let's that go ahead. A, that Let's... was a really bad answer. Like, I wasn't happy with my answer. I think it was Doesn't kind of matter. obvious and stupid. But your answer was terrible. Well, <laughs> <laughs> toilet paper. What do you say? I said toy to he. Toy Papier de toilette. All right, that's it. First time I've ever seen people applied for toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> Usually I get yeah. a standing ovation for the medical term toilet. Toilet. Gusting all those answers. Toilet. Yeah. 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 Okay. You know, unfortunately, I, I I like Zaz's answer, but I think Josh was because it was in there. some form or another, shit paper was their answer. It, I mean, it was the obvious and one. Toilet paper guys. wasn't the greatest. Uh, I mean, can we both just so we have the rules for next time. Are we allowed to to pick the same answer? You are, but I'll probably give the person who said it first the win. You motherfucker! You you both are setting me up. I know what's going on right you now. You get the answer first this round. Oh god, god damn it! Susie said, "Let me tell you why I hate it when my husband needles me. He's a blank." <laughs> Susie said, "Let me tell you why why I hate it when my husband needles me." He's a blank. I'm not going to the obvious route. Says, you, yeah, you can go obvious or, or probably the better answer that uh, I have three better answers than I think what they're going to say. Yeah. Uh, uh, what you, what's your, uh, what, are you, what are you giving us? He's a junkie. Okay. That's just mean. That's, that's... I think he's a diabetic. Oh. Quality answer. Quality answer. Let's see what the uh, panel says. I rejected acupuncturist and tattoo artist in favor of doctor. Hey, doctor, give... doctor. 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 <laughs> I have a very in-depth psychological answer, Tell which us. is very moving. Yeah. Because he always has a point. I have the worst answer. Worse than Taylor. No. She stole it. Me, Taylor. Right. <laughs> doctor. Doctor. Yeah. So you. Both had better answers than everybody on the panel. I'm going to give this one to Zaz because I think that junkie slash heroin addict would be the better answer. Yeah, I do like diabetic though. And I get to judge things. So and now you're tied. 
which is entirely not what I was trying to do. Uh, uh, uh -oh. You are tied. Uh, this is the last round, round three, and the winner uh, gets uh, some turf for wax. Jim the dairy farmer said. Yeah. Yeah. Is I'm never shipping yeah. my cows via El Cheapo trucking again. The ride was so bumpy, all the cows are giving blank. Jim the dairy farmer said, I'm never shipping my cows via El Cheapo trucking again. The ride was so bumpy, all the cows are giving blank. And uh, we're going to let Josh start off on this one. Sorry. Uh... So when you're judging this, are you judging this on the funnier answer or how accurate it is to the idiots on the show? If you nail it, it's, if you get all the idiots or the majority of them, I will probably give that since you guessed with them. However, you never know if they're just going to go all off in different directions or, you know, so I, I think it's a strategy game. If you go completely... Mo you say stuff they couldn't have said in the 70s or something completely politically incorrect, I'll probably give you the win on that one. But if uh, Zaz comes up with an answer, they all say, get off that little boy. If Zaz gives an answer that uh, matches most of them, I might give it to him. All right. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Zaz, what, what's your answer going to be on this one? I think they're going to say really shitty hand jobs. Okay, cool. Let's go forward. We have really shitty hand jobs. Jeez. Sour milk. Sour milk. We've matched twice in a row. Sour uh -huh. milk. Shit. I mean, what happens the when fuck? you shake milk a lot? You get butter. You get Out cheese, right, baby? Oh. Yogurt. I love it. I love it. Yogurt. <laughs> Parquet. Butter. Cottage cheese. Okay. Zaz is the winner oh. because cottage cheese is not what you get when you shake milk. <laughs> celebrities are wrong. Like when, and only one of them actually said cottage. We had a, we had a cheese, we had a yogurt, and cottage cheese. I think they meant really shitty hand job. I'm really excited to see this one because Josh and I both, at the same time, uh, uploaded uh, two of the same titled videos. And if we, and I know we won't. But at the same time, I want to see if we did the exact same thing at the exact same time. If you guys do pretty much close to the same exact thing, or close enough, I'll give you permission to the next time you're in the same building, dock. Yeah. You heard That's that, Josh. Price. I'm holding you to that. I'm holding you to that. I'm holding you to that. I'm big doc. Happy Thanksgiving, God everybody. The sun is out 55 degrees. You're what a great me. day for a Macy's Day Thanksgiving parade. This float that you're going to look at right now is a comic book spectacular come to life. It's the super city of the Marvel Universe, furnished, of course, by Marvel Entertainment Group. Looks like another day of fucking cock. Oh look, a cunt! You trying to get circumcised? Wait, what is that song? Ah. Isn't that Back to the Future? Yes. What the fuck? I wish I could destroy all the vaginas. Melanoma? Melanomam. Whatever, bitch. Play with my hole. I'm gonna get your fucking grandma. Hi, Doctor Doom. <laughs> Put it back in my body. Eat shit. Eat shit. It was like my butthole was yawning. Is that Robocop? Looks like I'll be back. Yeah, I think I like black music. I think my prolapse just had a relapse.
Very, very, very retarded. <laughs> I just hope all the kids die. Boy, I was scared there for a minute. I love a handy ending. That worked out pretty good. I'm sorry, was that? <laughs> so that was the uh, worst Thanksgiving Day float ever. I have so many questions, Josh. <laughs> I have so many thoughts. Are you okay? <laughs> I think all right. Uh, so yeah, you know I said before we did this episode that I had some big ideas that didn't quite pan out. Well, there you go. No, I love that. That was fantastic. Like, I just can't decide what was more ridiculous—the actual thing that they planned and choreographed and shot, or what you did to it. Like, yeah, that's a tough call. <laughs> <laughs> like, like they could have put those noises in and. It better yeah <laughs> yeah no i'm dead serious okay i mean I, I, see and this is and again this is not on you josh i i i found myself watching the video going what and occasionally you know like and, and obviously the sounds i'm like laughing at the sounds but like i'm going why is back to the future playing why are they fighting hawk and pushing him down and then all of a sudden they're like we won we're like what did you, what's going on <laughs> and robocop fucking yeah. shows up yeah <laughs> yeah like yeah. it was this is a cyborg, right? That was RoboCop. I I, I think it might have been like Iron and Man, Cyborg's but like DC. yeah, yeah, Cyborg's DC. I think it was like Iron Man, but like in his one of his metal suits. No, you know, not the, the red. In his like, if you go, that's absolutely a RoboCop. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I can't tell because I'm in a screen with the screen. So might have been part of a Marvel universe that year, like in the comics. Like there is a no. I'm pretty sure they are. And again, some nerd's gonna call me out, but like there is a Terminator. Terminator versus RoboCop series. I believe that's Dark Horse. And I believe it's also a RoboCop versus Aliens. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Um, and I believe that's Dark Horse as well. Um, but again, I'll get called out for it. You're wrong. I don't think he's part of the Marvel Universe. And Remember when I said I uh, re uh, deleted Da Vinci and re downloaded it? It's because I started working on this video and I couldn't do what I wanted to do. And it's really quick. And I just got jealous of what you guys were doing, especially with blurring techniques and all that. And uh, yeah, here's this pile of shit. Ready for it? Thursday from New York, Hawaii, Detroit, and Toronto. Join your favorite CBS stars for the 28th annual All American Thanksgiving Day Parade. God. Very nice. I like how you and went just a little too far at the end there. Was that the fun? Final video? Yes. That's it. That's it. Happy Thanksgiving, shit.